Jupiter Media presents Avasar Telecasting Global Opportunities Hello and Namaste welcome to Avasar program I'm your regular host Sunil Acharya Especially this program is all about educational news and views we are time and again telecasting the fresh information from different study destinations and different education system as well in this case, today I'm going to talk about study in Canada and uh, University of Canada West. We have very special guest from University of Canada West, who is none other than Nachiya Wirawat. She is looking after the regional director, South Asia International Department. Let's welcome her. Nachiya, you're welcome on our show. Thank you very much for having me. Okay, especially first of all, would you please introduce yourself and the University of Canada West? Thank you. Yes, my name is Nachiya Wirawat. I'm the regional director for International Department looking after South Asia um, region and University of Canada West. We are a university with um, valid DLI number based in Vancouver, Metropolitan British Columbia, Canada. Okay, especially Canada, it's a really highly um, trusted country for the human rights and uh, other facilities as well. In this case, why international student could have choose Canada as a study destination? You likely say um, Canada has becoming an emerging destination for international students because of various reasons. There are some key reasons that students would like to know. First of all, in terms of the education standard, Canada has offered one of the highest education standards in the world. So international students who would like to come and study in Canada, regardless of any institutions or like university, you can be ensured that you're going to get high standard education um, that's going to support your future career and um, prospect life. Second reason is about opportunities as international students. Um, there are various opportunities for students apart from education itself. You may be able to gain um, work, uh, Canadian work experience um, towards the eligible program once you enrolling or studying with the um, Canadian institution. And the third reason that everyone probably agree with is a very beautiful country, very safe, multicultural in terms of various cities, for example, in Vancouver Metropolitan. It is multicultural culture where I believe international students might find it comfortable to move there to study and spend a few years there at least. Okay, nowadays study in Canada is being popular here in Nepal uh, mm -hmm. among Nepali students and parents. So what sort of the popular courses are there in your university? Yes, for University of Canada West, we are business oriented, um, technology focused university. So our university, we are offering, offering um, business IT related program, but more towards business because business applies to everything. Programs that we are offering in undergraduate and postgraduate, Bachelor of Commerce, Business of uh, Communication, Associate of Arts and um, the MBA program, that, which is quite popular for a master degree. Okay, especially talking about the global standard education, mm -hmm. um, nowadays uh, education is being the international market and mm -hmm. International students are choosing the best destination, best university in terms of global standard education. In this case, how University of Canada West is delivering global standard education? Definitely. We are a Canadian university which is governed by British Columbia and the government. Therefore, we have to ensure that every step that we provide students, not just academically, but student support, you know, when students are there, is well looked after. We are student centric university so that's our key goal apart from academy that student has to meet the standard but there are some support steps along the way um, apart from that um, in terms of career focus as well when international students studying in abroad um, they may look for other opportunities that in line with that study um, for work related, for example, work experience which is going to enhance their career possibility even when they come back to Nepal, right? Bring some expertise, some experiences. So those might be one of opportunities that um, our university happily supports our students to find those kind of experiences okay. in Canada. Especially talking about the international student communities uh, there in Canada, how Nepali students are doing there? 
they are doing great. Actually, one of the, our students is uh, top class. So I'm very really pleased and would love to welcome Nepali students um, studying in Canada and with University of Canada West. Um, I am sure the students are very happy in, in Canada itself. And um, in regards to the uh, support, we our previous Nepali students um, have some financial support in terms of scholarship as well. So they're doing great. Okay, international students, uh, especially where we are like traveling in different traditions, nations, they often share about the university facility, international student caring center, mm -hmm. and uh, cafeteria, and other plenty of uh, options and opportunities. Mm -hmm. So in this case, how University of Canada West is nurture its infrastructure and facilities for international students? Yes, um, we are student-centric university. So. The, all sort of facilities we provide to our students. There are two campuses right in downtown Vancouver, which provides students tremendous opportunities to explore the uh, academically social life, um, you know, networking, for example. The library, um, there are lots of um, innovation hub um, sessions providing for students for free, workshops as well um, to support students. Um, and in terms of accommodation, we, we are partner with the service provider that our students are able to browse through on the website and choose the accommodation um, as they prefer the budget. Um, we also have a student services team, career service team to support students for further opportunities. Especially Nepali students are really smart. As you say, they are doing very well. Yes. So is there any that sort of the scholarship for international students? When it comes to University of Canada West, we would like to support students as much as we can. So there are, in 2022 um, year, academic year and intakes, there are quite a few scholarships that we provide to accepted applicants when students apply to the university. Um, for bachelor degree, the value is, is quite generous uh, to those students who, who are eligible um, to be accepted onto the program. Basically, one year tuition fee that we support students um, to studying with us. Um, for example, instead of paying four year tuition fee, students will be paying three years only. Um, that's quite generous. And the other kind of scholarship that we have, um, marriage-based scholarship for students who are doing well academically, um, we would love to support and carry, you know, make sure students carry on the journey. Um, there's some uh, scholarship for. Um, second language, which is eligible for students who are doing well in English. As part of the requirements to apply to university, you need to be able to prove that your English proficiency is up to the requirements um, that university required. Um, so those are the kind of scholarships that support. There are quite a few based on student profiles, and um, the best way to find out is to go to our university website and check it out. Okay. Especially you are here to promote the um, University of Canada West here in Nepal, yes. uh, even in South Asia. So how individual agents can enroll a student in this university, uh, how you pass the message? Um, I would love um, to encourage any international students or any party that consider Canada as um, the study abroad destination to first of all find out about the information that you need to know, why Canada becomes such a country of your interest, opportunity that you might have, and furthermore about the university, the requirements, um, you know, relevant information, fees, and of course scholarship because you want to know how you're gonna be able to get that kind of support. And in terms of the university process and visa, I would recommend everyone to take a bit of time um, to prepare in advance. Um, um, for the whole process in order for you to be able to grant the visa and travel to Canada. Well, I would love to thank you for inviting University of Canada West to be here. Mm -hmm. It's our pleasure to meet um, Nepali students um, and um, we look forward to welcome you to Vancouver City and to Canada West. Thank you so much for your valuable time and thoughts. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Our sir, telecasting global opportunities.